Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys through the very last review from my first ever Okja perfume haul. Um, if you are not familiar, Okja is a, um, a dupe perfume brand. They do a lot of dupes of higher end fragrances from brands like Tom Ford, Burberry, La Labo, Juliet has a gun, many more. Um, they are cruelty free. Um, and I really think that so far, at least based on my experience, I think that the um, price point for what you're getting in terms of the overall quality and performance is just fantastic. This is definitely a company that will be seeing more orders from me personally. I actually already have another cart started and I'm just waiting for another sale to happen. I anticipate that we'll probably get some 4th of July sales or something like that. So um, anyway, if you want, you can definitely sign up for their emails. They'll give you a 10% discount, but I don't know. I, I think that for me, because I've seen in the last you know few months that they've had some pretty frequent sales, I think I'm just going to wait for a sale myself. So if you can be patient, it might be worth it. Um, I will link the reviews that I've done for the other fragrances in the description box. Um, if you're curious about my thoughts on the Praise the Perfume, which is a dupe for the Melanie Martinez Crybaby. Uh, I've also reviewed the peach rings as well as the watermelon jam from the candy collection So I will link those down below as well um, But in this video, we're going to talk about pink euphoria, which again also from the candy collection um, Before we get much further into the video just because I hear him like snoring behind me If you're wearing earbuds, you are probably hearing some noises in the background um, I actually have both of my pugs in the room with me. So um, the snoozing is just the free pug ASMR that's available on my channel from time to time. So um, enjoy that. This is what it's like owning um, one of these noisy dogs. Um, anyway, you guys, so Pink Euphoria, like I said, is the last of the candy collection fragrances that I personally picked up from my very first haul. Um, the other two or three that were in the collection didn't really appeal to me um, in terms of the scent profiles, so I didn't grab those. I do want to let you guys know, however, that Okja does offer, um, and I think this is really smart of them, they offer uh, sample collections of their perfumes. So they actually have a sample collection of all of the fragrances that are in the candy collection from Okja. And by the way, this particular collection was created by the Okja perfumers. This is not a dupe of you know, another brand's candy scent, like this is something that Okja came up with. So not only do they do dupes, but they also create their own fragrances as well. And they have several collections of those. So there's a lot to choose from, from Okja. So definitely take the time to peruse their website. But if you are unsure about any of their fragrances, check out some of the sample sets. They are available for, I believe, most of their fragrances. So um, hopefully that helps you maybe narrow down a little bit more of what you're looking for. Because I do understand that purchasing a 1.7 ounce perfume, um, no matter the price point, is a little bit of a commitment. So um, you want to make sure that you like the fragrance. <laughs> so I think the sample sets are a smart way to go. And honestly, I feel like maybe I should order a few more of those because I have quite an extensive perfume collection and... The more of these full sizes that I add to the collection, the more frequently I then have to go through and edit my perfume collection because um, it's it's large. <laughs> it doesn't really need to get any bigger than it is, but I just I love perfume. It just makes me happy. So anyway, you guys, let's dive into Pink Euphoria. Okay, so out of the three in the candy collection that um, I have reviewed thus far, I think that for me personally, the Pink Euphoria is the least favorite. I don't dislike this scent, but I don't love it the way that I loved the Watermelon Jam or the Peach Rings. Um, I am a huge sucker for like gummies, uh, like gummy candies in general, just in real life. I have a major sweet tooth. So 
Um, I do love candy. And I was hoping that this would smell a little bit more like actual Skittles, which is what this scent is modeled after. And I don't really think it smells like Skittles. I do think it smells quite fruity and fun. It's a very vibrant, very lively, incredibly sweet fragrance. And I do think that if you have a younger uh, child that likes these sweeter types of scents, for example, my daughter is 12 and she, she absolutely loves the candy collection. Um, so this one here I think is one that I might actually consider passing along to her. Um, just because while I like it, I don't see myself reaching for this one super often. So I think Stella's gonna get lucky with this one. Yeah, it's good. It's just, it just doesn't smell like Skittles to my nose. If you have this one and you think it does smell like Skittles, definitely leave that down below in the comments. Listen, everybody's nose is a little bit different and you can watch all of the fragrance reviews that you want, but your nose might pick up different uh, fragrance notes, different nuances than my nose does. So this could potentially smell just like Skittles to you, whereas to me, it just kind of has a little bit more of like a generic candy type fragrance to it, if that makes sense. Now, normally I like to spray these fragrances on my arm to show you guys the atomizer. I'm not gonna do that because I already sprayed it on this arm, and this scent is so potent, you guys. You really do not want to overdo it with this one. It is so sweet and honestly it's so long lasting i sprayed this on my skin um this morning when i got out of the shower which was probably about three hours ago and i still think it smells just as strong as it did three hours ago so i will show you guys the atomizer just by spraying a little bit into the air this is something that i'm really impressed with from okja um, their bottles I think are beautiful. They're glass. Um, and this one happens to have kind of like a fun like frosted rainbow effect. All the bottles are exactly the same. This is one of the ways that um, you know this particular dupe perfume brand is going to save you some money is that there is no unique perfume packaging for each of their fragrances. It's all the same. Um, the colors are different on some of the bottles and the different collections but the overall shape the atomizer, the lid, that all looks the same. So let's take a look at this mist. Ooh, did you see? You can barely even see it. It is so fine and I love that. It's not a giant splat of perfume. It just gives you a beautiful distribution on the skin. And um, this is potent, you guys, <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, when you first spray this, there is just this like fruity, um, concoction that hits you in the face and it is so so intense listen you really need to like sugar to like this scent so let's read through these notes um, the top notes are juicy melon fresh citrus and sugar coating the heart or middle notes are raspberry strawberry and cherry the base is vanilla musk and caramel so what am I smelling here okay to my nose um, First of all, it's not until you wear the fragrance for about 20 to 30 minutes that those base notes really start to develop in this scent. And once they do, they definitely add a little bit more complexity. When you first spray this, it is straight up like juicy sweetness. Like you are smelling that melon note. To my nose, it honestly smells more like a cantaloupe than it does a honeydew or a watermelon. So that honeydew note is really intense. The, also the cherry um, follows right behind. Then I get that strawberry, raspberry, um, citrus. Yeah, there is a definite citrus touch to this, but it's, it's not something where when, like if you're not really sticking your nose in it, it's almost like the citrus doesn't necessarily exist. Um, if you really stick your nose into it, I do think you can smell a nice kind of lemon orange type combination, but you really gotta get in there to get that. I think it's the melon and the, the cherry, strawberry and raspberry that just kind of take over this scent. And when I say intensely sweet, I mean intensely sweet. <laughs> 
For this particular fragrance, I really think you might want to grab the sample pack specifically just for this one because I have a feeling a lot of people might read through these notes and go, oh yeah, that sounds delightful. But it really does change when those base notes kick in because you absolutely get this kind of muskiness that develops in the scent. And um, for me personally, I think that I would probably enjoy this fragrance just a little bit more if that musk wasn't in there. If it was just the caramel and just the vanilla in the base, I think I'd be good. But it's honestly the musk that makes this just kind of an interesting fragrance in its presentation. It's still sweet, but then it brings in just this kind of, I don't know, I don't wanna call it like a haze, but it just, it's kind of like this little cloud that goes over all the fruity notes and just tamps them down a little bit. But then you're still also at the same time left with a lot of that like, what they're calling sugar coating. So that just generic sweetness that runs throughout the scent. Um, I do smell the caramel. Takes a little while again for that caramel to kick in. The caramel I think does play pretty nicely with those fruity notes. But even if there was the option to maybe take the caramel out, I think that I would probably enjoy this one the most if it was just the, um, the top notes and the middle or heart notes with this one. But overall, I do think that there is some complexity that is kind of built into the fragrance because of those base notes. So for me personally, I do like the scent. I don't love the scent. This isn't one where I think if I would have just smelled the sample of it, I don't know that I would have purchased the full size. Um, so for that reason, I'm still going to give this one a thumbs up because I do think it is a very interesting fragrance, but it's not one that I see myself repurchasing. I could probably definitely see myself repurchasing the other three fragrances that I have picked up, although it'll take me some time to get to that point, but I do think that I could see myself repurchasing those out of the original four. This is the one where I think I'm going to enjoy the, the one that I have and it'll probably just be a one and done for me. Um, I am so curious if anybody else owns this and if they think it actually smells like Skittles. Um, I just don't personally think that it really smells like Skittles per se. So um, it is yummy. It is sweet, but it's very intensely sweet. And I think it could come off as cloying to certain noses <clears throat> in terms of the overall like strength of the fragrance, you guys, this one is potent. Please don't over apply. Um, I actually, I thought that when I applied this this morning that it would give enough time for the fragrance to kind of dissipate a little bit so that I could like spray it on my skin again for you for the video. But honestly, what is on my arm right now is still as intense, I feel like, as it was when I applied it several hours ago. This is such a potent fragrance, you guys. Um, so I will put the overall strength of it as quite potent and the projection, um, just don't overdo it. I think one or two sprays max, um, and you are going to have the type of fragrance that could potentially like enter the room before you do. If you go beyond that one or two spritzes, it is so powerful. And, um, yeah, if that's what you need. This is the scent for you, get you some pink euphoria. But if you are maybe a little bit more subtle in the fragrances that you like to wear, if you want to invite people closer to you to smell your perfume, um, this is not the fragrance for that. This enters the room before you do, if you over apply and people are gonna wonder what you're wearing. So anyway, um, so still, like I said, a thumbs up, but not something that I'll personally repurchase. Um, and like I said, had I received just the sample pack first, I think this is one that I would have skipped, but I am glad that I tried it. And I do know that my 12 year old daughter really does enjoy this one. So it's not like this isn't going to not get used at this point. I, th I think it's actually going to get used quite a bit. So at any rate, let me know your thoughts on Pink Euphoria if you have it in the comments down below. Again, I will link my reviews for the other three fragrances that um, are already up on my channel in that description box. Check out the Okja website and um, you will be seeing more from this brand coming up. I definitely, like I said, I have another cart going and I cannot wait to try more of these fragrances. So I appreciate you being here. If you are interested in more personal fragrance content, 
make sure that you subscribe with that little red subscribe button right below the video here. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.